Today, we're gonna to be talking about something you guys have been waiting for for a long time. 671 days to be exact. That's the day we released the B-Brain V1. Today, we're gonna to be talking about the B-Brain V2. Now, the B-Brain V2 is a little different this time around because of a few things. We've got a nifty all-in-one kit this time. That's gonna include your flight controller, your VTX, your camera, and the camera mount all in one unit. And of course, we've got the flight controller available for those of you that wanna use your own camera or don't wanna use our VTX. And I know what you're thinking, and let me stop you right there. Wow, whenever something breaks, we're gonna to have to replace the whole stack. False. We've got the flight controller separate, the VTX separate, the camera separate, or the camera with the mount separate. I mean, look at this thing. It's a convenient little stack of everything you need. What more can you ask for? I don't see other companies giving you modular freedom to this degree. Of course, we've got you covered with either FR Sky versions or DSM versions. If you're not flying either of those, what are you doing? The FR Sky version is going to be using the S Bus protocol finally. No longer are you going to be using that old PPM or PWM slow protocol. The DSM version is using, of course, Spectrum 2048. These new digital signal protocols are three times faster than the B Brain V1, have better resolution and error rejection. We had our engineers write their own receiver code to ensure minimum latency and smoother signal processing. This allows us to add future features and fix any glitches or bugs that may come about very quickly. We're now up to an F3 processor, up from the F1 processor on the B-Brain V1. The new gyro we're using is a standard full-size flight controller gyro, MOSFETs, aka ESCs for this all-in-one board. We've got four 30 amp MOSFETs packed into this little tiny board. That means these MOSFETs are three times as powerful as the B-Brain V1. These things are so powerful, they can support up to 10.5 millimeter motors. I mean, who's even doing that? No one. That enables you to use the B-Brain V2 in bigger motor setups than the standard six millimeter everyone's using in all their tiny whoop and acro B setups. Seven millimeter, eight millimeter, 8.5 millimeter is getting popular. We've got an onboard antenna that comes pre-soldered and an internal antenna that's built directly into the board in the event that you break off your stock antenna, you can bridge these two solder pads and boom, you're back in the air. Who else has got that? We've got an onboard RGB LED that's configured for the beta flight transponder driver. In future releases, we may change it to control RGB LEDs via beta flight soldering iron. Everyone who had a V1 knows this was a required tool to get your camera working on the V1 B brain, but not anymore. Who wants to use this? Let's make things simpler. Bam! This is the only tool you need to build a B-Brain V2. Since the B-Brain V2 is a modular setup, everything is plug and play, and the VTX stacks right on top of the flight controller. The camera is just plug and play now. And it's that simple. This build literally takes five minutes to put together from start to finish. The combo of this new flight controller and VTX now supports full Betaflight OSD. Monitor your RSSI, battery voltage, flight time, VTX channel, VTX power, and you can adjust all that stuff. Adjust your VTX channel, your VTX power, your VTX band. You can even go in and adjust your PIDs on the fly on a B-Brain. On a, on a tiny whoop size, that's crazy. Our VTX has two power options, one milliwatt, which is great for flying indoors if you're not going long ranges, and it's gonna save you battery. And then we've got a more powerful 25 milliwatt, which is popular for racing or even going extra long distance, and you still get great flight times with it. And last but not least, the BI camera. 600 TVL, 120 degree viewing angle. The camera mount we include is a 20 degree tilted mount. This way you can still see well at high speeds without losing your perception in level mode. Did I mention the total weight? 9.5 grams. That's this entire stack. The camera, the mount, VTX flight controller with hardware. Only 9.5 grams. Have you ordered one yet? Link's in the description.